Hello everyone and welcome back to Zoo Crafting! I am Zookeeper Siri and we are here in my garden getting ready to go into the plant sorting shed and dig through many many of the plants we have to see what is going to be the best for the chameleon and hummingbird exhibit which is what we are working on today and we are actually making progress thank goodness also hello Ash what you doing back here in this corner all right let me just uh, casually Look at it, rain bamboo. Oh, that's so awesome. I love this stuff because the bamboo grows so quickly, but it makes a really, really good composting material. So let's just gather up all these pieces. Pine, let's scoot you back a little bit, honey, because I kind of want to gather up the bamboo for the eating. I got none of that. Okay, that's fine. That's fine, dogs. It's not like mom wanted to eat any of that bamboo. I got not a single piece. Not a single piece. Pine, come here. Come here. Yeah, that's what I thought, buddy. He got most of it. In fact, he got almost all of it, and Ash has a little bit of the bamboo. There you go, Ash. You can wander around a little bit. But yes, yeah, so good morning. So yesterday, we worked quite a bit, finally, on like recovering from our many, many, many busy adventures. And we spent a little bit of time decorating our chameleon and our hummingbird exhibit. And we noticed that we really need a lot more things to get the humidity in the chameleon area up. So we need a lot more moss. We need a lot more philodendrons and ferns. And we also need a lot more flowers for the hummingbirds to be able to eat from. So let's see, is my little thing done? Yeah, I'll turn you off. I love our plant sorting shed. And for those of you guys who are new or you don't remember this, this tiny little shed, see it right here on the edge of our garden, is actually one of the most fantastic sorting machines that exist on the entire server. It is a very kind of quaint in its size, but behind that size, in fact, you can kind of see a glimpse of the hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of pipes that are behind here that took me forever to build. But that we got done before the server even opened so that you guys can enjoy the beautiful glory of us being able to just toss our plants right in here into this chest and it sorts them. We turn it on and it sorts them into the different chest. One for tree saplings, leaves, and woods. One for edible plants and seeds. One for the flower chest. One for the bamboo, ferns, vines, and ground Covers. One for the aquatic plants and corals. Also, I don't think we need this in here. One for the mushrooms and special plants, and one for the miscellaneous plants. So a lot of the new mods we've added that have plants involved, a lot of the seeds that I haven't really had a chance to deal with yet. Um, oh, and black powder puffs somehow snuck in here. So I need to double check my mushrooms, because none of these mushrooms should be in here. These should all be in the mushroom chest. So I'll have to double check and make sure I don't have like a pipe laid wrong. No wonder nobody's in here. All right, let's put you in here. All my little mushrooms go in here. I love collecting the mushrooms. I really should invite some of our other zoo crafters to come on and go mushroom hunting with me sometimes. That would be really fun. All right, so we're looking for plants that add humidity to the environment. So you're looking for plants that retain a lot of water, plants like ferns that you would see in areas that would have a lot of rainfall. Um, so moss and ferns and humidity means to have more moisture or water in the air and some reptiles finally don't stick around for the lesson but some reptiles need that in order to keep their skin healthy in order to get that's right pine you want to learn you're a good puppy um in order to let them shed easily and some totally need the opposite environment very dry low humidity but we're going to say these chameleons are probably from the island of madagascar where most chameleons are from and they probably uh are a high humidity chameleon so we're gonna go with that and we're gonna try to add in here's some ground cover moss so let's take the ground cover moss and here's a bunch of philodendrons Ooh, and some more madagascar palms would be really nice in there let's see i don't really need the swedish ivy i don't think we really need you know maybe maybe just a few bright green ground covers as accents would be okay um the orange oh let's do the red flowering vines like oh the magenta let's do some flowering vines kind of in patches for the hummingbirds so we can say that those are spots where the hummingbirds can go to get some of their food i like that idea so we'll take that down there and anything else i don't think we really maybe a couple we'll take like three or four of the shiny flower ground cover just to see if that helps but apparently we don't have any ferns and we don't have any moss so that might be something we have to go and find now for the hummingbirds we're going to try to bring back some more flowers that would be really good for them so hummingbirds really enjoy things like this like the lobster claws i would say you're looking for like these guys right here 
You're looking for red flowers, red orange red flowers that are tube shaped or trumpet shaped are what are appreciated by like most general hummingbirds. But hummingbirds can be very, very specific as a species to a certain type of nectar from certain flowers. So depending on the hummingbird species, you can get like a really specifically shaped beak and you can have a very specific diet. And hummingbirds are actually extremely aggressive people do not really seem to get that that they are very tough like rough and tough they'll take each other on they're kind of violent birds because it is so essential for them to defend their garden each hummingbird will have a area where they get their food from and that is their hummingbird garden and they will defend that against other hummingbirds very ferociously so it's really they they fight I have seen them sword fight they sword fight with their little beaks they will dive bomb each other it is pretty amazing stuff to see so let's see i think i'm gonna get a couple more of these the panama queens look amazing down there um maybe just a couple more shell flowers we'll just i don't really they're good backdrop plants they're not really the colors or the shapes to be able to use them as like hummingbird food uh, maybe a couple more lobster claws. I think we have a couple in one of our backpacks still. Ooh, and the torch lilies. I am a big torch lily fan, so we'll take all of those. Um, the cone heads. Oh my gosh, can you imagine how cute it would look if our little uh, chameleons climbed onto those and turned colors? But let's see. Peruvian lily. That's an orange plant. We'll go ahead and take those. And I think that's pretty good. Other than maybe more ferns and moss for the hummingbird plants. So we'll go ahead and close that. Hi guys! Oh, Pine and Lily, my companions for the next few days are probably going to get a little hungry. Ash, are you- Ash, are you like right next to the food bowl and not getting- Oh, you're out of food there. Well, come over to where you have food. Come over to where you have food, you silly, silly puppy. See? Now you have food. Oh my goodness. I'm going to make him sit down. Sit. So it looks like we need to go get dog food at some point. Okay, that's fine. There's a golden helmet of fire protection and unbreaking just sitting in my dog's food dish. And I'm down to just pig's ears and a helmet that they've been chewing on from, I guess, a skeleton that they were nibbling on. And one chicken rice and blueberry meal for the dog. So I know, Zoe. Okay, here's Zozo. You can have a little snack because you're, you're okay. Fine, you can have two little snacks. She's just so cute because she's staring at me. All right, I'm going to go ahead... Let me see. Let me put my armor on just to get out of the way. Hello, Primrose. Hello, Carlos. I hope you two are having a good time. Um, where is Darling? I feel like giving him a quick peck on the cheek. Where is my Darling? Is he out here? No? Oh, Martha. Hello. Thank you for your contribution and eggs. I think I have, yeah, I had some Zookeeper experience points. If you could be so kind as to uh, add these to our accounts, please, ma'am. And when I come back, then we will have to take them into town, go to the bank, trade them in, all of that nonsense. All right, there we go. We're, we're earning our experience, earning our paycheck. The zookeeper experience points can be turned in. There you are, darling. Mwah. He's writing in the journal. He's doing his studies, so we'll leave him be. Real life darling is actually back in school for his second master's now, so he's, he's doing his studies too. Keep him busy. All right. And let's see. So now we're going to come down here. And what's really fun is DecoCraft actually has a hummingbird feeder. So we are going to try to make this hummingbird feeder for our little DecoCraft uh, items. Oh, look at that. We have woodpecker eggs. I really need to make like... Oh, it would be really fun. Oh, nest. Nest. We should make some nest. That's right. We can make nest using sticks now to go with the exotic birds mod so let's make at least a couple nests um there we go so let's make make like three nests one two one two three 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 there we go and we will put those down what do they look like <gasps> they're so cute they're so cute oh and when you when you break them you like actually break them okay so we need to make another one again <laughs> And we will go ahead and put those up in the trees where the hummingbirds can enjoy them. All right, let's put away these sticks. All right, and I'm going to put this away and uh, this way because I don't even have my bow and arrow on me. Oh my goodness, I'm being silly. All right, let's put those things away. And so now what we're going to work on is making the DecoCraft hummingbird feeders. Oh, how fun. We have a ton of plants, which is always good. Um, let's see. So let's check if we have the crafting clay first before I start getting into all of this. 
Do we have crafting clay? Where would I keep the crafting clay if we had any? Because I know we made a whole bunch. And I was like, oh, I should put this to the side so that next time we need to do this. Well, maybe we don't have any, so let's just go with that theory. So we need sand, dirt, and lapis lazuli. So there's lapis lazuli, quite a bit of it. And now I need sand. Lily? Okay, Lily is studying things on, let's see. Let's see, sand. I know I've got lots of sand in somewhere. Aha! There's lots of this kind of clay back here. Um, I know I have like an entire thing full of sand. And every time I forget about where it is, I'm all like, of course it would be there when I find it again. And it's very embarrassing every time. Okay, nothing there. Uh, ha! See? Of course it would be here! Why not? And then a ton of dirt. I need dirt. Did I take? I think I took all my dirt downstairs. So let's go downstairs. Pretty sure I took it all down to be like sorted. Hey Bella, don't worry. I'm going to be making you a chemistry set as soon as possible. We might even do that right now just because we can. Why did I collect experience just there? Who knows? <gasps> Plant fossils! Huzzah! I'm going to throw them in here real quick. Oh, it got so quiet because all my assistants are like in the other room. All right, let's see. I could have sworn I threw like a ton of dirt down here. I had just like dirt on top of dirt, followed by more dirt. And I was like, we're going to put it down here and sort it later. Um, aha, we found the dirt. All right, let's, well, I want to take a little peek. Anything good? Aw, well, we got more sand and we have some cactus greens if we need that for making the green. Uh, anything good? And bone meal. Woo. That's okay. That's okay. We haven't even finished expanding to the new laboratory yet. I really need to just like pick something. I might start doing voting again. Like, let's pick a project for Siri so that she can actually finish something. What do you guys want to see? I might start like a poll again because I know a lot of you guys have actually been requesting that we do the um, Wolf Lodge pretty soon. All right, let's get a bunch of this. I think I'm going to need a little bit more. So let's get more lapis lazuli. My gosh, I think we might need to go mining soon. We actually haven't been mining in like a month and a half or something ridiculous like that. So that's kind of impressive. All right, cactus green, green dye. Do I have more cactus greens? I sure enough do. Thank goodness. So we're going to get a bunch of that. And then is it just rose red dye for the red? That is not so bad. DecoCraft and Raz, by the way, who does DecoCraft mod, she's really cool. So I started being her patron and then like she just, I've just gotten to peripherally know her a little bit. So she's a cool mod author, just like Pavo, who is the mod author of our wonderful exotic bird stuff. So it's really fun. If you guys like a mod, remember this. If you guys really like a mod, go and tell the mod author like on their Twitter or something. Hey, your mod's cool because that's just such a nice thing to do and it always makes people so happy inside. All right, so we're going to start putting the red crafting clay back here because it's kind of like a decorative-ish item, if you ask me. So being back with the dash of dyes makes sense to me since there's not really a proper clay spot. And it's not really like clay the way Minecraft clay is. It's more clay for building, uh, building these decorative things. So now we're going to check. All right, I think we should do four bird feeders. So we'll go ahead... And we're gonna make four DecoCraft bird feeders. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And put that there. And what do they look like? <gasps> They're so cute! Oh my goodness! I like them a lot! Okay, you know what? Let's make a couple more really quickly to give away as as gifts. Like I think near an A and Win and maybe, maybe Win. I'm not sure if Win is really into the wee little birds. I know she really likes studying like ancient cultures. So let's do this and let's see. Oh, and we'll do one more and I'll just run around and like deliver, <laughs> deliver them to our friends at some point because that would be fun. There we go. And then since we have the crafting clay in hand right this second and it's been far too long, we're just going to take half a second and we're going to make a chemistry set for Bella and we'll take a couple of them down to her. All right, let's do this. And one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Ta-da! 
All right, Bella's gonna be so excited. She's she's gonna think that we will have forgotten all about her by now, and we're about to run down there and be like, Bella, I know you think I was busy working on hummingbird stuff, but here's a chemistry set, kitty. Yay, this is so exciting. I love all the work we do. There's always so much to do in the zoo. So much to do, Bella! Bella, oh, you have your little assistant snail. Oh, that makes so much sense that he'd be your assistant. Bella, I present to you chemistry scents, which I actually need to put up. <laughs> Look how cool they are. Look at that detail. Oh my gosh. That is just so amazing. I love her work. I can't wait for the special things she made for us to come out in the next Deco Craft pack. That's going to be so cool. Oh, that's just my zombie spawner. <gasps> my little heart. I was like, oh my gosh, invasion, invasion. No, that's just the zombie spawner going. We still have the uh, enchanted zombie spawner back there. Though, really, now we have a much better... Bella, you have a chemistry set now. Congratulations. We have a much better um, zombie spawning area that Mara and Ben made. Mara makes really nice spawn areas. She just makes them look real pretty. All right, let's go upstairs and go to bed real quick. Hello, darling. Oh, there's another egg. Thank you for letting me know about that. Let's put this away. And let's go upstairs to bed. Dun, 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 dun. Ta -da! Snuggle up in bed, get all comfy. There we go. There we go. All right. And now we're going to run down here. Hello, good morning, darling. Mwah. Watching the sunrise. We actually do this in real life, too. We'll sit on the deck and watch the sunrise in the mornings. Well, you know, usually we're up far later than the sun. <laughs> but, you know, we'll, we'll sit outside. All right, let's have for breakfast a baked potato and some grape salad. Good morning, Primrose. I hope you're doing well. I should definitely try to at least make you a little, like, secondary room somewhere. We'll work on that in the future. All right, and let's go down and add in the decorations that we've made to the hummingbird exhibit, you guys. Do do do, chameleons and hummingbirds. Do do do, do 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 do. There we go. There we go. And riding it out, riding it out. Brun, brun, brink. There we go. Look at all the mushrooms. I love mushrooms so much. All right, and we're gonna come over here. Do, 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 do. And into the exhibit. Oh, and look at how nice it is. I love that. I cannot wait to put those honey blocks in the center for the hummingbirds, too. I think that's going to be a fantastic touch. All right, so first things first, let's climb up into the trees. And let's get some of these nests put down, because I think that would be a very nice touch. All right, so careful, careful, careful. And let's try to... Can I jump anywhere else? Nope, that's going to block me. Oh, hello, puppies. That's fine. It's not like mom thinks that's super dangerous or anything. Um, well, let's climb to where Pine is. Pine, don't fall off, okay? I'm going to try to climb around you. Okay, good. Nope, stay. All right, and we're going to try to, like, climb up and nest. Yes! So there we go. Got a nest there. Let's put another nest kind of where people can find it and be like, oh my goodness, there's a nest. Another nest there. And then let's come down here, and there's lots of greenery on this side. So we can put another decorative nest. Hello, where this guy hangs out. Because you know what, I've noticed he's not really moved a lot. So do you want a nest? I'm going to give you a nest. There you go. Nest right there. All right. Oh, and then we can start putting Peruvian lilies over here, which would be very pretty. I might need to make sure I spread them out a little bit, though. Also, some moss on the ground wouldn't be wouldn't be too out of place. All right, maybe some philodendrons. I really need to spread the philodendrons around. Let's go ahead and just try to swap out. Come on, all my little backpacks and everything. I need some of the big plants. There we go. So I can tell. All right, let's do a little torch lily back here, maybe, or maybe up here. You think, Lily? Let's do a torch lily up here. And maybe some more moss down here. Mm, lobster claw. Peruvian lily, or excuse me, a Panama queen. And maybe back here. Oh, do you like that? It's so cute because it looks like they fly right for the Panama queens. All right, we'll do this one. And some philodendron. And I hear my peacocks. They're making some noise, my peafowl. Alright, maybe 
another one of these guys. And over here, maybe a cone head? The only cone head we have in the entire exhibit right there. Maybe some moss down here. I like it, okay. Maybe a little bit of moss, just to show like the humidity levels. So I'm gonna swap the moss out where the dead leaves were right there. Um, and actually the same down here. I'm gonna replace all the dead leaves with moss because it makes more sense to be like, yeah, this area is supposed to be super humid. And I'm gonna put this guy right back here because the, the mushrooms actually make me think that it would be like really humid back there. And how about you right here? And a torch lily. And a Madagascar palm right there. Not looking too bad if you ask me. Maybe a little lobster claw. Something a little bit brighter right there. Whoops! I don't want to let the hummingbirds out. That would really suck. I don't think I'd ever get them back. Alright. And yeah, we need more ferns. Are you going to propagate for me? Pine? I love you. You took my fern. <laughs> I'll have to get it from him in a little bit. Alright, let's see. More philodendrian. I feel like Peruvian lilies would be more apparent over here because it's kind of kind of that atmosphere. Um, but there we go. And maybe a lobster claw somewhere back here. And some of these guys, bright red guys. And a few spots. And then I'm just down to philodendrians. All right, also don't want to let hummingbirds down in there either. Ta-da! Oh, that's, that's the player sensor sensing me, no wonder. Oh my gosh, look at how pretty this is! All right, and now let's figure out where we're going to put the hummingbird feeders. And we still have a few more pieces that we brought with us. Um, the vines, you know what? I think it would be really nice. We're gonna swap these vines out. I'm gonna let this one grow down a little bit. And we'll see how far it wants to try to grow. And maybe a red flowering vine right there and an orange one right there and we can spread them after they start uh, propagating a little bit and growing and then you know what this actually was a really good choice in the bright colory flowery thing and these guys yeah I like that a lot actually normally I'm not a big fan of the like this kind of particular ground cover just because I never know what to do with it but this is what we should do with it Oh, it's so pretty in here. Okay, let's see where we can put the hummingbird feeders. Can we? <gasps> you can hang them from the trees like that. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm so doing that. All right. I think we've made four for putting in here. So I'm going to like hang another one maybe right there. And then hang one maybe right here. There we go. And we'll save the rest for our friends. All right, let's back up. Oh, look at this, you guys. Look at it, it's so pretty. I need to put a glowstone there so that we don't have torches everywhere. Look at this. This is a beautiful exhibit now. And we've got the hummingbirds going around, we've got the plants growing, we've got the moss spreading. So there's touch-ups that we need to do and we definitely need to add a keeper in at some point. I'm gonna pull from the list of keepers we already have so I can try to add the 110 missing people. Oh my goodness. But we need to add a keeper in. Uh, that will accept things like they'll, they'll like give you the spawn eggs for insects So we can have some more insects roaming around or they'll accept insects and they'll accept sugar for the hummingbirds And maybe give you some of these plants. So that would be really nice Like if you could get these beautiful beautiful Panama Queens um, From a keeper so that we didn't have to go and like deforest areas. Oh and look at the moss <gasps> I've got little moss in my hair. I've got little moss in my hair. Oh, that's so fun. I'm so happy I think this looks great. So adding in a keeper who can also give a, away a couple books that would educate people about hummingbirds and about at least one species of chameleon. We'll probably focus on uh, either the Veld, the, the Veld, the Jackson, or the um, painted chameleon. So we'll focus on one of those chameleons for picking the chameleon that this particular exhibit represents. And we do need to add more moss, and I actually really like these ground covers, so I want to get my hands on a ton more of these sparkly ground covers. So I might have to put out a request for the from the other zoo crafters for that. But I'm really happy. I'm really happy. The exhibit came along great. So what we'll probably work on next is um, 
Either, hmm, <laughs> well, that's a good question, actually. Either, like, the Wolf Lodge, or I feel like we want to get some of the roads fixed up, and maybe make sure a keeper is in each exhibit so there's educational opportunities. Look at that chameleon move. Just don't fall and hurt yourself, buddy. And then there's also this area to consider. I do want to come in and I want to make like a viewing area for an underwater river, underwater Asian river uh, that I want to work on over here. Tigers and those kinds of animals on the other side over there. A uh, horse, like the horse ranch, I want to work on that. Um, you know, like I said, the wolf lodge, getting, getting more creatures over in the temperate forest area. Yeah, basically there's a lot of things. We might do another poll on it. I'll think about it and I'll let you guys know tomorrow if we're going to have another poll on, okay, what do we focus on now? Are we going to work on the horse fields? Are we going to work on the tigers? Are we going to work on building the wolf lodge? Are we going to work on, like, uh, the freshwater stingray exhibit? There's always so much to do in the zoo, and that is because there's so much more of the world to discover and share with you guys. And I can't wait to do that tomorrow. So I will see you guys then, and there goes Fluffy Bunny. <gasps> Looking for carrot fish with carrot fish bun. That's so awesome. That is so awesome. Fisher bun is fishing. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.